everyone, it's Rebecca from Glorified Mud Pottery. Um, it's time to put some handles on our mugs. So I'm going to show you how I do this. First off, we know that um, the mugs are ready to take the handles because you can tap on the side of your mug and it's not moving it at all. It's just holding shape just fine. If you put the handles on too early, it could um, either ruin the shape of your mug or if your mug is way too wet, your mug won't support your handle anyway. It'll just tear right off. I've also went ahead and pulled our, our handle. Um, there is another video. If you wanna watch it, I'll show you how I pulled the handles. And you know, the handles are ready because they are holding their shape. So let's get started getting them on these mugs. First thing that you're gonna have to do is get your mug and grab one of your handles. We're going to cut our handle to the length that we need. I'm going to do this by using a pen tool. And matching up the angle that I cut the top to the bottom is going to give us the perfect arc on our handle. So I'm going to scratch the top of the handle where I want it to go. And I'm going to scratch down here the bottom. I do the scratch and attach method for my handle. Some people don't. I just find that um, this method works a little bit better for me than the other methods. So I'm going to go ahead and um, add my slip to my handle. I'm going to put a little slip where I want my handle to go. Take my handle to my mug. Press. Again, give a little wiggle. I'm trying to push the air out from behind it. We'll add the handle to the bottom. And I'll come in and I'll clean that up right now the best I can. Um, the best thing you can do really to clean this up, to do it um, to where it looks the best, is actually just come back at it with a paintbrush. And that's gonna get you the cleanest line. I also like to add a thumb spot to the top of my handles. And I'm do that by taking some of the heavier meat off the top of the handle rolling a little dot, giving it a little smash, scoring, slipping on the top of my handle and on the dot, grabbing a little bit of slip out of my bowl here and then pressing that onto my handle. I also like to rub it in and do a quick blender. It's kind of one of my trademarks. And there she is. This one's kind of a bigger handle because I was asked to do one or two with larger handles so people can get more than two fingers in. So let's move that to the side and let's do another one. sort of distorted the rim and knocked it with my finger. So. Little gross tip. If you're doing something and you want to smooth something, the enzymes in your spit actually help smooth clay. It's kind of gross doing it, but since no one else is touching my mugs till after they're fired, I do it once in a while. And we'll just continue on until we get these done.
Alrighty, this is my last one. You'll see that I still have one handle left over because I go by the, if you need eight, you make nine just in case I cut a handle too short. So let's go ahead and get this last handle attached. enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Just because we're old